This is um, one of the gills out of a rock crab. And you can see this right at the tip, all the lamellae, the different the uh, little layers they used in gas exchange. Go all the way back down to the base. All the little lines you can see. And that's another one that was cut off, but that's just a tip. And we go to the next magnification. That's the tip. You can see how big they are compared to the, the little paramecium swimming around. See them? So they would be able to filter out that. And each one of those works, I guess it just increases the surface area for oxygen exchange. Hemolymph that goes through there. And that picture there, right there, you can kind of make out there the three dimensional how they overlap each other. See, right there along the edge. Yeah, you can make it out better. Another edge shot. You can see that's probably the groove that runs down the, the length of it and gets the fluids to all of the branches. Yeah, that's definitely the groove that runs down the length and connects all of them like little branches. And we're back to the tip. I'm going to try. Oh, and one magnification greater. Oh, there we go. And you can see, see there's a paramecium. Gives you the idea of the scale that we're looking at. And we'll go up the edge. It's like a radiator almost. see that the divisions, as we shift focus, that's in. That's going down into the branch, and then that's on the base. So that's in the, this is the tube that right there, that long thing in the diagonal, runs down, and then the branches come off each one, like that, and go around. They twist. You can see the twist there up in the top. So we pull the focus back and forth. You can see it go around. And then there's a casing over the whole thing. Well, that's kind of interesting. See that? grains of sand, because these are from shed animals. Mm -hmm. 
and then we'll pop back to the gill again and hold, or largely in hold. 